Hiya, stars. It's celestial summer and adopt me. For the next four weeks, fulfilling pet needs and completing task board tasks will reward you with Galactic Pass XP. Turn in your XP to claim Galactic Shards and Rewards. I completed every task board task to see how long it takes to complete the Galactic Pass. You get a little XP for each pet need, but completing task board tasks is the fastest way to get XP. Sometimes the UFO malfunctions and you get two times XP in aging. This happened a lot on Friday, but it didn't happen for me at all on Saturday, so I don't know if it will happen for the rest of the event. Maybe only on Fridays? Some of the tasks were quick, like buying an egg from the gumball machine or opening a gift. Most of the tasks take longer to complete, but they give you more XP. The task board tasks are random. You might have to buy eggs for the egg hatching tasks. And you will sometimes have to do tasks for a common or a rare or even a legendary pet. This might be a problem for newer players who don't have a legendary pet. Not gonna lie, it took 10 hours to complete. Here's all the rewards for completing the Galactic Pass this week. What's the point of the Tiny Task Age Up Potion that only gives you three tasks? Who knows? The Galaxy Boots are uncommon pet wear, but they're actually really nice looking. The Singularity Beetle is a rare pet, a very strange creature. I didn't know aliens had a bug problem. When you complete the Galactic Pass, you have to pay 3,000 bucks to start over. And you have to start over to earn enough Galactic Shards to buy the pets that are coming out in the next three weeks. Looks like a space dog next week, and a space cat in the third week. Unfortunately, they cost 175 shards each. You'll have to complete the Galactic Pass twice to buy one. Ten hours later. And then this happens. 86 times 2 is only 172 shards. Kiss another 3,000 bucks goodbye to restart the Galactic Pass. It took me 20 hours doing every task board task to get the 175 shards required to get next week's pet, and it would take another 20 hours to buy the third week's pet. I guess Adopt Me wants us to play three hours a day, seven days a week, to get these space pets. That's more time than most people can throw at a video game, especially with school starting up again. I'm guessing the cat and dog are ultra rares, and I bet there's a legendary pet the fourth week that Probably costs way more. Is Adopt Me trying to make a fun game or just steal everyone's time? Is the legendary pet hidden inside the spaceship? Hopefully, Adopt Me will stop with the events for a few weeks so we can just hatch some eggs and enjoy a role play and some trades before the month long Halloween event starts. Good luck, everyone. Bye, stars.